as now here so two digit numbers 1 2 3 4 5 five two digit numbers we have so in this five two digit numbers so 42 63 84 98 these four numbers are divisible by 7 next we go for three digit numbers so how many three digit numbers are there 1 2 3 so we have to check these numbers next then how to check this one first we have to make double this ones place value then 9 is there 9 twos are 18 18 9 twos are 18 you make this ones place value double that is 9 9 twos are 18 this we have to minus from 87 87 minus 18 87 minus 18 then 7 minus 8 is not possible then take borrow from here then you will get 17 17 minus 8 is 9 7 minus 1 is 5 59 so the answer is 59 it is not divisible by 7 so this number is not divisible by 7 then again once again what is the condition the condition for 7 is first you make this number double that is once what is there in once place 9 so 9 you make this 9 double that is 9 to the 18 this number we have to subtract from the remaining digits remaining digits 87 then 87 minus 18 87 minus 18 is 69 not 59 here it is 69 69 is not divisible by 7 so that is why it is also not divisible by 7 next we go for the next one 151 151 151 so what we have to do again the same condition so we have to make this ones place double first two ones are two these two we have to subtract from 15 15 minus 2 15 minus 2 is 13 13 is not divisible by 7 so this number is not divisible by 7 next next here directly you have to check this number so either this number is divisible by 7 or not it is not divisible by 7 it is not divisible by 7 then you go for this this is over then this one here first what we have to do so we have to double this ones place what is there in ones place 7 7 to the 14 14 we have to subtract this 14 from the remaining digits what are the remaining digits 763 now so make minus this one then borrow from here you will get 5 here and here 13 13 minus 4 is 9 5 minus 1 is 4 and 7 this 749 is divisible by 7 why you got 7 ones are 7 7 7 is 49 so it means this complete number is also divisible by 7 then make with blue color ok so in this question what we did once again first so we checked so in two digit numbers so it is very easy first we go for two digit numbers so two digit numbers first we decide which one we which numbers are divisible by 7 that numbers we first make blue color then after that so we checked for three digit numbers so the condition for 7 is first we have to make ones place double and that that value we have to subtract from the remaining digits if the difference is divisible by 7 then the number is divisible by 7 otherwise it is not a divisible number then in the four digit number also same you go for last means ones place value you make it double then whatever the number you got that number you have to subtract from the remaining digits if the difference of the number like this if the difference of the number is divisible by 7 then this number is also divisible by 7 ok next next one this first question is over then you go for your second question what is there in second question what he asked color the number which are divisible by 8 8 divisibility so and also we use green crayon so which crayon we have to use green crayon we have to use we have to use green crayon okay 
first this 56 it is a two digit numbers then first you go for your two digit numbers 56 8 5 is a 45 8 6 is a 5 8 6 is a 48 8 7 is a 56 8 7 is a 56 it is divisible by 7 color with green crayon color with green crayon this is 56 is divisible by 8 then so for this is a two digit number once you check 88 what about 88 8 11 is a 88 8 11 is a 88 it is it also it is also this number is also divisible by 8 then color with blue means green crayon green crayon so this number and this number these two numbers are divisible by 8 then after you go for three digit number so here you have a three digit number how to check when three digit numbers are there then simply you have to divide and see 216 divisible by divided by 8 8 2 is a 16 so then 11 11 minus 6 is 5 56 then 8 7 is a 56 then it is divisible by 8 then color with green crayon ok use green crayon so this number is also divisible by 8 so then you go for your four digit numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 four digit numbers were there then how to check so the divisibility test for 8 so how to check when the number is divided by divisible by 8 or not so we have to check last three digits that is ones tens hundred if last three digits of the given number is divisible by 8 then the number is divisible by 8 so we have to check only last three digits these three digits we have to check check one tens and hundred so once you check these three digits if these three digits are divisible by 8 then this complete number is divisible by 8 now 532 then divided by 8 8 6 is a 48 then minus then how much 5 2 then 8 6 is again 48 then answer is 4 4 is left here so 4 left means these three digits not divisible by 8 so this number is not divisible by 8 next you check this one 281 last three digits ones tens and hundred last three digits you have to take and check 281 281 these 281 is divisible by 8 or not 8 8 8 3 is a 24 and 4 left 1 8 5 is a 40 the remainder is 1 here 1 is the remainder so it is not divisible by 8 it is not divisible by 8 now we have to check this one ones tens and hundred last three place values we have to check 200 200 divisible by 8 8 2 is a 16 the remainder is 4 then difference is 4 and 0 8 5 is a 40 0 here the remainder is 0 here the remainder is 0 means this complete number is also divisible by 8 divisible by 8 color with green crayon ok color with green crayon ok then this is divisible by 8 next 9490 either this number is divisible by 8 or not what we have to do again the same ones tens and hundred these three place values we have to take and check either this 490 is divisible by 8 or not so 490 divide with 8 8 6 is a 48 then 1 left 0 8 1 is a 8 2 is a remainder here 2 is a remainder so it is not divisible by 8 then you go for this 30 0 3 2 so last 3 digits 1 tens 100 0 3 2 divided by 8 and then once you check 0 3 2 so 8 4 is a 32 so it is divisible by 8 so color with green crayon ok next 
So, 1s, 10s and 100. This last 3 digits you have to check either these 3 digits are divisible by 8 or not. 496 divided by 8, 8 6 is 48 and 1 left then 6, 8 2 is 16, remainder is 0. So, this one is also divisible by 8. Okay. So, these are the divisibility conditions. So, then how many numbers are div divided by divisible by 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 numbers are divisible by 8. First, what is the condition for divisibility of condition for 7? Divisibility condition for 7 is if. So, if we take, if we make double the 1's place and after that, so that number we have to subtract from the remaining digits like this, 1's place. What is there in 1's place? 7. 7 we have to make it double first and this double number we have to subtract from the remaining digits. Then whatever number, whatever the difference we will get. So, that if that difference is divisible by 7, then that number is divided by 7. Otherwise, it is not divisible by 7. Divisibility condition for 8. So, if last digit, last how many digits? 3 digits that is 1s, 10s, 100s. 1s, 10s, 100s, these 3 digits are divisible by 8, then the complete number, the queer number is divided by 8. These are the conditions, divisibility conditions for 7 and 8. Okay. Now, here check, here see here, color the numbers which are divisible by 9 with a yellow crayon, yellow, yellow crayon we have to color with yellow crayon. Okay. See here, so how many numbers are given? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In these 6 numbers, which numbers are divisible by 9 we have to find first. What is the condition for divisibility for 9? So, we have to find sum of the digits, sum of the digits. First, you add all the digits 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3, 3 plus 2 5, 5 plus 1 6, 6 plus 3 9, 9. This 9 is divisible by 3. So, this number is also divisible by 3. If once the sum of the digits divisible by 9, then the number is also divisible by 9. This is the short method how to check whether the given number is divisible by 9 or not. So, we have to find sum of the given number digits. So, if the sum of the digits divisible by 9, then complete number is also divisible by 9. So, we have to make with yellow color, use yellow crayons. Okay. So, this one is divisible by 3. The next 1805, here also we have to find sum of the digits. 1 plus 8 plus 0 plus 5. So, 1 plus 8 is 9, 9 plus 0, 9, 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 is not divisible by, divisible by 3. So, it is not divisible by 3. Then the next one, here find sum of the digits. 9 plus 8 plus 3, 9 plus 8. 9 plus 8, 17, 17 plus 3, 20, 20 it is not divisible by 3, divisible by 9. So, the number is not divisible by 9. Okay. The next 42,012. So, here also we have to find sum of the digits 4 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2. 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 0, 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. What is the sum? 9. Sum of the digits? 9. 9 is divisible by 9. So, this number is divisible by 9. So, color with yellow. Okay? Use yellow color. Next. Now, again 5139. Here also once we have to find sum of the digits 5 plus 1 plus 3 plus 9 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 9 18 18 is divisible by 9 so this number is also divisible by 9 so color with yellow crayon okay next 4186 then add this 
4 plus 1 plus 8 plus 6 sum of the digits 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 6 18 so 18 is divisible by 9 so color with yellow crayon ok so so, 4 numbers, 1 in this given 6 numbers, 4 numbers are divisible by 9, divisible by 9. Once you check 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 8, 13, 13 plus 6 is 19, 13 plus 6 is 19, here 19, this is not 18, this is 19, this 19 is not divisible by, this is not divisible by 8 divisible by 9 this one. So, 4186 it is not divisible by 9. So, why because sum of the digits 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 8 is 13, 13 plus 6 is 19. The sum is 19, 19 is not divisible by 9. So, this number is not divisible by 9. The condition for the divisibility for 9 sum of the digits we have to find the sum of the digits if sum of the digits divisible by 9 then the given number is also divisible by 9 otherwise it is not divisible by 9 ok then next the fourth question color the number which are divisible by 11 so with an orange crayon orange crayon so then how to find whether the given number is divisible by 11 or not so see here First, we have to find sum of even digits and odd digits. Sum of even digits, this is odd digits first and third. Add first and third digits 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Here even digit only one digit we have that 2. So, then 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. If 2 minus 2, whether sum of the sum of even and odd digits, if 0, are multiples of 11 then that number is divided by 11 otherwise it is not divisible by 11 two conditions first we have to find sum of even digits then after that we have to find sum of odd digits and after that we have to find the difference be, difference of even digits and odd digits if the difference is 0 or multiples of 11 then the number is divided by 11 otherwise the number is not divisible by 11 this condition is there so then in 121 first we have to find sum of even digits sum of odd digits first first and third odd digits sum 1 plus 1 2 then even digits 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so the 0 is our answer difference is 0 so it is divisible by 11 divisible by 11 here so color with orange not with yellow ok. Now, here in this first we have to find sum of odd digits first and third 4 plus 2, 4 plus 2 is 6 then sum of even digits 2 and 4 that is 2 plus 4, 2 plus 4 is 6 then find the difference 6 minus 6 is 0. If 0 is there or 11 multiples are there that number is divisible by 11 then color with orange ok. Now, here also find sum of sum of odd digits 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Next sum of odd digits even digits 4 plus 7, 4 plus 7 is 11. Now, you find the difference 11 minus 5 is how much 6. So, it is not 0 or 11 multiples. So, it is not divisible by 11. Here First you have to find sum of odd digits 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, then sum of even digits 9 plus 5, 9 plus 5 is 14, 14 minus 3 is 11, 11 is a multiple of 11. So, this number is divided by 11, so color with orange ok. Like this we have to find and after that sum of odd digits 6 plus 3, 6 plus 3 is 9 and sum of even digits 0 plus 9 is 9. Now, you find the difference 9 minus 9 is 0. If the difference is 0 or multiples of 
11 then that is divisible by 11. So, here sum of odd digits 6 plus 3 is 9, sum of even digits 3 plus 6 is 9, then difference 9 minus 9 is 0, then this is divisible by 11 color with yellow, okay, color with orange. Now, sum of odd it odd digits 1 plus 1 2 sum of even digits 0 plus 1 is 1 2 minus 1 is 1 it is not divisible by 11 the condition for 9 we have to find sum of the digits if sum of the digits divisible by 9 then the number is divisible by 9 okay for 11 we have to find sum of even digits and sum of odd digits then after that we have to find the difference if the difference is 0 or 11 multiples then that is divided by 11 otherwise it is not divided by 11 this is the concept ok. Here see students here the third question it is given the numbers which are divisible by 9 divisible by 9 here it is 9 it is not 3. So, sometimes I repeated here 3 3 3 it is not 3 it is 9 divisibility 9 divisibility is given 9 divisibility and 3 divisibility both for the condition is same. So, what sum of the digits we have to find? So, in 3 also as well as in 9 also. So, we did in uh, textbook, textbook sums it is there how to. So, find whether the given number is divisible by 3 and divisible by 9. The condition is same, but here the question is given divisibility 9. So, we have to say the divisibility of 9 only we have to apply 9 condition only. Okay. Here sometimes I say here 3, 3, 3 it is not 3. So, here we have to find the sum of the digits. This number sum we found here 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3. Here the sum is 9, this 9 is divisible by 9, divisible by 9. So, that is why this is divisible by 9. In the same in the same order. So, here sum of the digits 14, 14 is not there in 9 table. So, it is not divisible by 9, okay, 9, divisible by 9, not divisible by 9. Next this one. Again here also we have to find sum of the digits. What is our sum of digits 9 plus 8 plus 3? It is 20. 20 is not there in 9 table. It means so this number is not divisible by 9. Okay. In the same 4 42,012. So, here we have to find sum of the digits 4 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2. Then what is the sum that is 19, 9 not 19, 9. So, sum of the digits is 9, 9 is divisible by 9. So, this complete number is divisible by 9. This is condition for divisibility, divisibility condition for 9. Okay. Here in this also we have to find similarly, we have to find sum of the digits. So, here 18, 18 is divisible by 9. So, the number is also divisible by 9. And here 4186 sum is 4 plus 1 plus 8 plus 6 that is 19. 19 is not there in 9 table. So, it means this number is not divisible by 9. So, these all the numbers are. So, we have to check either these numbers are divisible by 9 or not. So, we have to apply 9 condition only. Okay. Yes, now students next in performance time C the next concept prime factorization prime factorization concept. So, the question find the prime factors of the following numbers using factor factor tree method factor tree method. So, then how to find see here 98 98 is an even number. So, it is divided by divisible by 2 2 49 za 2 49 za 98. 249 is a 98. Again, this 2 is a prime number. So, again we have to break this 49. So, how? 7, 7 is a 49. 7, 7 is a. So, then after that check once. So, what about this 7? 7 is a prime number and this 7 is also a prime number. Then after that we cannot break this 7 and 7. Why? Because they are the prime numbers. They are the prime numbers. Now, 98 in prime factors, product of prime factors 2 into 7 into 7, 2 is a prime number, 
7 is a prime number and this 7 is a prime number. What is mean by prime number? So, prime number definition. What is the prime number definition? The number which is divisible by 1 and itself is called a prime number 1 and itself. This 7 is there 7 1s are 7 1 7s are 7. This 7 is divided by 1 and also it is divided by itself that means it is divided by 7. So, the prime number is having two factors. How many factors? Two factors. One of the factor is 1, the other factor is itself. So, that type of numbers are called prime numbers. Okay? So, this is a factor 3 method. This is a factor 3 method that is 98 is equal to 2 into 7 into 7. Then after that 84. Then how to do this 84? First 84 is a even number, then it is divisible by 2, 2 42 is a 2, 2 42 is a 84. Again this 2 is a prime number, so then after we have to break this 42 into 2 factors. Again it is an even number, again this 42 is divisible by 2, 2 21 is a. And after that this 2 is an even number then we have to break this 21. Then how it is 3 7 is a 21. Then after that once you check what about this 3. 3 is a prime number and this 7 is also a prime number. Then all these are prime numbers. So we stop till here. Why because so further we cannot break this 3 and this 7 also. Because this 3 and this 7 are the prime numbers. Now. 84 as a product of prime factors 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 once you check 2 to the 4 4 3 is a 12 12 7 is a 84 12 7 is a 84 now 44 44 is an even number so we take 2 2 22 is a 2 22 is a 44. This 2 is an even number again we have to break this 22 it is an even number so again it is divisible by 2. 2 11 is a. So once you check here what about this 2 and 11. 2 is a prime number and this 11 is also a prime number then after this we cannot break this 2 and 11 so we stop till here only. Now we have to write 44 as a product of prime numbers. Then 44 is equal to 2 into 2 into 11, 2 into 2 into 11. So, so this method is called factor 3 method, factor 3 method. This is first question, this is second question, this is our third solution. Next, fourth solution, 63. Then how to split this 63 as a factors, as two factors then. 7 9 is a 7 9 is a 63. 7 is a prime number and 9 is not a prime number. So, this 7 we cannot split further. So, then how to split this 9? So, 9 factors 3 3 is a 3 3 is a. So, then we stop till here. So, why because 3 is a prime number again this 3 is a prime number and finally, so we got prime numbers. So, we stop till here. Then how to write this 63 as a product of prime numbers? 63 is equal to 7 into 3 into 3. 7 into 3 into 3. So, this is called factor 3 method. In this bit more 3 sums were there similar questions. That 3 similar questions you have to do as your home assignment. Okay?